Okay, Justin, so uh, we got a photo from John yep. yesterday for the weekend wrap. Mm -hmm. Kind of interesting, and he sent me a few more so that we could have you explain what is happening here. Okay, this is what's known as a seish. Yes. All right, so what you're going to see here, this picture that we have started with, this was before the seish began. Right. Okay, this is sitting in a little harbor, yep. you know, on Lake Superior, and this can happen a lot on Lake Superior or within a uh, contained body of water. So okay. harbors help, help a lot, but believe it or not, even though it's a big body of water, yeah. It is a contained body of water. Sure. Okay, so it's not going to be something like you'd see with your, say, for example, a tsunami or something okay. like that. Contained body of water. So what happened is, you know, we got pretty windy uh, over the course of the weekend at times with uh, a persistent wind, and as mm -hmm. that wind continues to just con blow into a certain area, mm -hmm. what you end up happening, what ends up happening, is that water gets pushed farther out. Look at okay? this. Okay. It's, it's an oscillating uh, wave, and an yeah. oscillating wave is one that just kind of goes back and forth, teeters back and forth. So it loses all the water. So after that sage started, what you're going to see are scenes like this, where yeah. uh, the, this is when it started to recede a little bit, mm -hmm. and you see that water going away. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, you can kind of get a grasp of the massiveness of how big this was when you can see mm -hmm. all the people standing out there right. in the harbor where there's typically water. But that water is being pushed over to areas of the opposite shoreline. Yeah. And it's just due to a persistent wind. Now, once mm. that wind relaxes, that water does come, come back. back. And okay. it can come back at a pretty good clip and make some big waves as it's crashing into the shore. Yeah. But it gives away that feeling like many people see in videos where the shoreline disappears and you're like, oh, here comes a tsunami because it's the same thing. Yeah. But it's not a contained body of water like it is with right. the oceans and stuff where you see, you know, seismic mudslides yeah. and things like that that causes. This is just wind driven for what you see. So I'm going to show you an example. Uh, okay. I'm going to kind of get down here. You, I don't, I don't, don't want to make props. a mess. So I got a prop. So here we just got a straw. All right. <laughs> okay. And you're going to go, you got to zoom into the water, <laughs> way into the water as close as you can, Sean. Okay. I'll try to tilt it as much as I can. But what you're going to see is if I blow this water, yeah. you're going to notice that it just continues to make a dent. Okay. In the side of the water. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay. See it. Right. Yeah. Right yeah. there. Uh huh. Okay. Your clickers. That's all right. It. But anyway, it's the same thing. All right. Okay. That's why I did it on the stool. <laughs> yeah. But okay. anyway, you I can, think you can... I'm wet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the same thing. So you get that constant pushing of the water. You see, a lot of yeah. times you see it when you're in the bathtub. The same thing. Push the, oh. push the water to the end of the bath. Sure. Everything behind you oh, kind yeah, of goes yeah. away. And then it, you got to get up and it kind of levels itself okay. back up and you get that oscillating wave motion. Super interesting. Well, thank you, John, for sharing these yeah. photos with us. That was that was fun to, to hear about. Mm -hmm. we'll be